circumstances, and, and none exist here. Uh, our Constitution guarantees that the right to vote is fundamental to all Missouri voters. Uh, in 2006, the Missouri Supreme Court ruled that photo ID requirements violate that protection. And thus, the resolution before you today, and, and the, the, the substitute as well, would necessarily strip that protection from the Constitution. Um, I am, in full disclosure, the attorney who brought suit um, challenging the legality of the last joint resolution that we proposed a similar uh, requirement and make a similar change in our Constitution. Uh, and Cole County Circuit Court Judge Patricia Joyce struck that, finding that the ballot title language was deceptive and misleading to voters. And while this resolution doesn't contain identical language, um, I would contend that it is similarly deceptive and misleading by failing to tell voters that uh, the consequence and impact of their vote would be to strip uh, and weaken existing protections for the right to vote in our Constitution. As lawmakers, um, we've taken an oath to defend the Constitution of the state of Missouri. We have never in this state amended our Constitution to weaken rights. We have only amended our Constitution for the purpose of expanding rights for the citizens of Missouri, and we should be loath to ask voters in the form of a resolution to weaken protections for the right to vote. The fact of the matter is that constitutional rights, fundamental rights, are not the issue of For this reason, we oppose the hospital substitute for HDR 5 and HDR 12. Uh, Ms. Lieberman, we talked a little bit this morning about the other court cases involving constitutional. Can you go through just really, really briefly? Because we heard about Indiana in terms of what that was based on, um, in terms of how that relates to our own state constitution and our um, proposals. Uh, Missouri, the Missouri Constitution, unlike the federal Constitution, actually has a specific provision in it that guarantees the right to vote as fundamental. Uh, and that's really what we've been arguing about um, throughout these proceedings here. And what that means is that because of this fundamental protection afforded to voting in our Constitution, it's elevated uh, above other rights. Uh, and it's elevated above voting in the federal Constitution. And requires that uh, voting cannot be made any harder for voters than it absolutely has to be. It's a standard called strict scrutiny. And that's a significant difference between the Missouri Constitution and the federal Constitution. Other states have similar provisions in their constitutions and all that uh, have looked at photo ID bills have found that they run afoul of those constitutional protections. It's the reason that the court uh, in Wisconsin struck Wisconsin's photo ID bill, and it's the reason that the court of Pennsylvania struck Pennsylvania's photo ID bill, also finding that they um, were inconsistent and violated the right to vote that was protected in their state constitution, provisions similar to uh, what is contained in Missouri's constitution. Does that answer your question, Representative? Any other, any other Aye. Representative Butler? Yes. Conway? Cox? Yes. Aye. Dunn? Yes. Gosen? Aye. Hurst? Yes. Coltmeyer? Yes. McGall? Aye. Newman? Yes. And Fouch? Aye.
and we are going to go to HDR5. The bill has been pre-distributed. There's seven on it. I use the HDR5 to be voted. You can't ask any discussion. I have a substitute yes. distributed on a new place to some district adoption. Any discussion? For which one? HR five. Do we have a substitution? Yeah, a couple of both of them are there. Yeah. It's HGRs five and twelve. Just a just question. Okay. Mountain. Yes. Uh, can you just uh, tell us real quickly, I mean, these are just joining the two um, HDRs together, 5 and 12. Is there any other differences? In here? No. Just putting the numbers together. Yeah. They are. They are. I think. HDR 5. Okay. All those in favor of adopting the second by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say no. 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 Yeah, I have it. You have adopted the substitute. I now move that House Committee substitute for HDR 5 and 12 be voted due pass. Any discussion? Can you stand please? Yeah, uh, Chair Edlinger? Aye. Vice Chair Neff? Aye. Representative Butler? No. Conway? No. Cox? Aye. Dunn? No. Um, what are so what are coupling these two bills together then? Oh. No, is this a coupling motion or is this a no, I'm sorry. this is a this I'm is amendment? I'm, I'm ahead. Yeah. I'm ahead with that. Okay. Right. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. No discussion. Go. No discussion. Well we need okay. to know what these amendments are. Okay. So she had no she didn't have done anything. I have a substitute, it's been distributed, I move for its adoption in discussion. I have amendment, it's been distributed, I move for its adoption. Yeah, that's right. On which one? Okay. Amendment. On the amendment? On the amendment. Which or amendment the is it? Or the sub. On the sub? Yes. I have an amendment on the sub. Is that the one that she's... No, I have a different one. Okay. okay. So, somebody, somebody discuss this one first, then. Okay. Somebody who's off of this. Adding section 115 to 432 of the bill is adding to this one line. Yeah, they were distributed at the meeting. I need a copy of that. Thank you. No. Here's mine if you need it. Do we know whose amendment this is? Do we know whose amendment that is? This was done by House Research. There was a technical error. And the only change to section 115 430 is it's adding on um, section, it's deleting. Uh, Okay. 
it's deleting it's uh, part of the first line. It's, it's going to read, this section shall apply in all elections. However, provisional ballots shall not be uh, available for absentee voting. Um, that was in the original House Bill 216, I think. That is correct. And this was um, when they drafted the sub. They've neglected to add this section into the, to the sub. So that's fixing that error. So it was a technical and, and this was, that spray hands in months. Other matters. This was in the House bill that was voted out of committee two years ago. This line was included. No. No. I, I, I have a question on this if this is the amendment, if it's time. Well, no, it's time. Well, okay, it's time, but, but I think what the what he's saying is that with language that was left out, it, it's not, it's like fixing something they. Yeah. Is this, is what we're adding law today? No. 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 So, I mean, under the federal guidelines, don't you have to offer them a provisional ballot? For absentee? For absentee. Uh, no. Yes. yes. Oh, you mean, which if someone comes in, in a federal, in a federal, but this is, but this doesn't change that. I don't know. Is that right? Mark? I think if somebody votes in a federal election now, they come to the counter and show and don't mm -hmm. have ID. You have to give them a provisional ballot if they want it. I don't think that changes that. It says that, however, prov provisional ballots shall not be available for absentee voting in all elections. Well, in all, but, but in general, municipal, you don't offer a provisional ballot. Correct. Right. So right now, federal law doesn't make mandate that you do provisional ballots in non-federal elections. But in a federal election, you, you're required. You're required. And this is changing I believe to you're all required. elections. Yeah. And this is and this changes it to all elections. Right? Well, we don't want to do that, do we? No. I mean, I think if somebody walks into your office in November and 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 says, "I don't have a, a photo ID," you have amendment. to at least give them the opportunity to cast a provisional even though you probably won't yeah. count it or they have the three days after yeah. the election to redeem it. That's what we're going Let's all that. Further okay. discussion? Further discussion? I have an amendment and uh, I can distribute it. Do you have the substitute? Mm -hmm. Want me to do a little explanation of it. In 115.427b, it says the document was issued by the United States or the state of Missouri. The clarification I want, and that's why I did this amendment, is if a document of a photo ID is issued by the University of Missouri, is that going to fall under section D of this? I think it's vague enough that some of the clerks have asked for more specific language and the amendment then would would offer more specific language that if it's a state institution of higher education so I submit the could I speak uh, I, I think clearly the, the, the statute that's written now would not allow this and this makes a substantive change and, um, well, but my argument I think it does I mean I think it does but uh, because the uh, University of Missouri no matter who they are, are not the state of Missouri. Uh, the University of Central Missouri, no matter who they are, they're they're not the state of Missouri. They are they're subdivisions. The they are sub creations of the state. But they're funded by the state. So is the it Department doesn't of Revenue. make them a, a state. And uh, clearly, the bill, and what I think is appropriate, is to, to limit it to uh, to uh, to a state agency and revenue. And I, I would certainly oppose it. 
Well, I can speak on it just to clarify it. I mean, to me, the University of Missouri is a state institution. I mean, it's a land grant university formed by the state. I think that these are state employees who are making the identification cards for the students that I don't think there's any question that it's a form of state identification and I think that this would uh, allow them, those that don't take their driver's license to campus or don't have a car on campus, would have their state ID and that would suffice to uh, allow them to vote should they choose to vote while they're away at school, which the laws permit them to do. So I move for its adoption. Uh, what's, what? Uh, I, you know, I'm, or I'm a University of Missouri graduate, and actually, uh, in my, in my wallet, my what's on top is my University of Missouri ID, and my, I guess I'll ask the maker of the amendment. Uh, I mean, this is about photo ID, and my photo is on my University of Missouri ID, correct? And I, right under it, I have my driver's license, which is considered, and this bill be against government issue. What are, what are some of the differences between my photo ID here and my photo ID? For uh, my Missouri driver, it has my photo, right? Sure. It also has my name on it, right? And on the back, it has, it has my date of birth, correct? So there's there's not much difference. Is it? It, it should be valid, correct? And it's issued by a valid government agency, correct? Or a, a government entity. So I think that's I think that's a note to take for the discussion for this meeting. Okay. Any other discussion? Yeah. What? You know, my, one of my questions is what type of photo identification cards do the state institution of higher education distribute? Well, I think they just do the one. I mean, you've so got a I, certified so, student ID. So. so if I worked at the University of Missouri in the nuclear reactor, and I had to have clearance to get in there, and they have my picture on that ID. Well, I guess would the interpretation mean, would, would, would I, I, you know, and that's going to be interpreted on the other section that says it's issued by the state of Missouri. I just want to clear that I have an election officials who have asked that this be addressed because I think in 427 it says the state of Missouri and I think that leaves it pretty well open to interpretation. At least this would clarify the part about the university. Um, yeah, well I guess my question would be when you say a state institution, I mean is there within the language, are you saying it's just the Missouri system or would, would this qualify any other State. I mean, Indiana, whatever. We don't know their, what their ideas look like. No, or whatever. It's the state of Missouri. Maybe, it's, but I mean, within, it's not here it doesn't. But, but it, on the other section, within the, the state. Of, okay, okay, I want to make sure. Just Okay, I'm just confirming that because this by itself oh, wouldn't say that. Could, could, uh, <coughs> Briefly, uh, I, I guess there's a couple of things that. Well, I, and I don't have to look at yours. ID. it certainly doesn't give your home address. Uh, I, I suppose if you were out driving your car and were pulled over for uh, some offense, and the officer asked you for identification, I don't think that that would be sufficient. Uh, the gold standard identification is that which is issued by the state, and that is the driver's license and the non-driver's license, and that's. If you loosen it beyond that, then you, uh, uh, I mean, I, re I remember seeing state, ID uh, state ID, IDs from my alma mater that just had my name and my student number on it, and, and maybe a photograph, so. Okay, any other discussion? Uh, I guess I had a little, so I, I think this this amendment is about defining what photo ID is, and I think we're, we're here to talk about photo identification, and this amendment defines a photo identification that's just that issued by a state government has another photo ID. If we're here to to make second sanctity of the vote, and it has a photo, they can verify it's mine and verify my name. I think that's fine. The, uh, the, the second the second thing I want I want to talk about is that I think this bill, I mean the the way if this is not allowed, this bill could possibly disenfranchise voters that that have a photo ID, photo ID, a, a, a college ID, but don't have a driver's license. And if we and if we were not to allow them to to vote based on the, you have their photo, you have their name, uh, and I want, I, but you, I think he, he alludes to not having their address, not having uh, uh, other things. Um, if we if we wanted that, then we'll just accept the utility bill. If that's what's important, 
then why don't we accept the utility? But I thought, I think we're talking about photo, and we, and we obviously have a photo on the identification for a college. Okay, Mr. Cousin. You're looking at IDs, I'm looking at my student ID, and it's got a name. It's not actually my legal name that I'm registered as, and it's got my picture and a bunch of zeros, and I didn't, wouldn't think that would be acceptable, you know, at the voting place as far as a photo ID. Okay. So I, you know, I don't know if we can count on all the universities using the same system on their photo IDs. Are you a student? Any, any, uh, any other discussion? Okay. All those in favor of adopting the House Committee Amendment number two. Signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed say no. 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 Uh, the no's have it. Okay, now we're back on the original set. Oh, okay, we're going to move for the adoption of the sub. House Bill 28 through 16. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those in opposed, no. 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 Oh, I move that House Committee substitute for House Bill 48 and 216. Be voted due cap. Uh, any discussion, please call the roll, Ms. Chair Edlinger. Aye. Thanks, Chair Neff. Aye. Representative Butler. No. Representative Conway. Nope. Representative Cox. Aye. Representative Dunn. No. Representative Gosen. Aye. Thank you all very much. I appreciate you coming.